The agreement has been signed and plans will go forward with the government of Antigua and Barbuda and the People's Republic of China for the construction of a secondary school. Antigua's ambassador to China, David Shao, says a lot of time has been spent on finalizing all paperwork involved in getting the project started. Shao says all relevant parties have been playing an active role in the deliberations and the Minister of Education is indeed pleased. When the relative agencies sit down and sign, it is what has been agreed by both sides on a friendly manner. So the school is, is, is 750. I'll give you an example. At first, when they, they arrived here, they were saying that maybe in the interest it should be six, whatever. And the minister told me, Ambassador Shawl, it's 750. So you go there and you make sure you make it happen. He outlined some of the features the school is expected to have. And we get in 750, 6,640 square meters of school with everything in it, all the labs and, and everything. And this is, and let me say quickly here, free, grant. So all these things we're talking about now, up to now. But then you have the spinsters who say in what the Chinese want, or what Antigua have that the Chinese would want. Mm -hmm other than our vote at the United Nations. And we have the will. If it's something that we don't agree with, we certainly won't agree with it. We won't support it. But certainly, if it's something that we agree with, we'll support it. Antigua's ambassador to China says the sports complex, which was promised, will be constructed after the school as the educational facility takes precedence.